Hi everyone, it's Helen Griffin here and thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to be making a presentation box for a mini bottle of wine and this is for Simply Cards and Papercraft 186 which should be in the shops now so hopefully you've got your copy and this is going to be the video for one of the projects in the magazine. So I've used uh, Kaiser Crafts Full Bloom, I absolutely love this. So those are the papers I'm using today and the pink cardstock that I'm using is from Creative Expressions. It's one of my favourite, most favourite cards I, that I use for scoring and making boxes and things. So it's absolutely perfect for that. So right, let's get on with the tutorial. Right, so we're going to start off with our scoring. So we're going to start off with some pink cardstock. So this one measures, this is going to be the base and this measures four and five sixteenths of an inch by four and five sixteenths of an inch. And I'm going to score that at one inch on all four sides. And this is the lid and this measures seven and five sixteenths by seven and five sixteenths. So grab your scoreboard. And we'll start with the... Um, the base first. So we're going to score at one inch. Okay, so here is the lid. It's rather um, a little bit larger than the base. So this one needs to be scored at two and a half. And now we have a piece of acetate, so this is going to be our walls for the box, and this measures 8 by 9.5 inches. So in landscape, so we're going to have the 9.5 inches going across the top, we are going to score at 2 and a quarter. Six and three quarters and nine. Okay, so we're going to score these now. So I'm going to go in the direction that the acetate is trying to um, bend in. It's always good to use a bone folder for this. Acetate does have a mind of its own, so just do the best you can. Whoops. So to make sure I am getting it exactly straight, I'm lining up the top and the bottom before I put in the final um, going over with the bone folder. And then the last little one here. There we go, so there we have all of our scoring done for the acetate, so I'm going to set that aside and we're going to move on to our lid. So just score all of these down again with the bone folder, just press all of the score lines. Okay, so grab your scissors, I'm going to do some cutting in now. So I'm completely cutting off the score line. So the score line is on this side here, which was, is going to be cut off completely. So let's tape it in there. We tape it in the other side to the other score line. Then we are going to trim it off there. Otherwise, when we fold this up, it's going to be too long for the box to fold up. So repeat that on all of the corners and then do exactly the same on this piece here and then we'll be ready to assemble. 
Okay, so pieces should look like this. So let's get all these glued together. So I'm going to be using Cosmic Shimmer glue. It dries clear. It's a clear glue. The shimmer kind of makes it feel a bit misleading, but it's definitely not shimmery. So I'm going straight up to the score line here because this, this is going to form the corner of our box. And as I said, the, the glue dries clear as well, so you're safe if anything comes out the sides. So let's press all these together. Okay, so that's our lid. Now we'll do the same for the base. Okay, so that's the base, that's the lid. Right, so moving on to the acetate. I'm just going to put the lid back on this because it does dry out quite quickly if you don't. Right, so here's our acetate piece. I'm going to be using some red line tape here, so I'm going to uh, probably run out because it's right near the end. Okay, so find your very thin strip here, this part there. And then just add your tape across this acetate is quite invisible so just do your best to try and get it up close to the score line but not covering it I'm just going to trim that off and then I'm going to taper the ends so it should look like that and that wasn't put on evenly so I'm just going to press it down really well with a bone folder take off the backing and I'll show you a quick trick on getting this together really fast is to fold it over so that these two sections are flat and then you take this section here and then you fold it down over there there we go and there we have our tube and if you were put it if you put this on a little neater you won't have these marks either okay so there is our acetate tube so let's grab our lid again so now we need to fit this inside here, just like so, and to keep it in place I'm going to glue it. So moving back to our glue, just going to add some glue around the bottom edge here. Then I'm going to push it into the base. Again, not worrying too much if any glue does come out the sides because it's going to dry clear. So I'm just going to grab my ruler. This is going to help me get everything stuck together because my hand will not fit in there. So get everything pressed down so it should look like that now. It's coming together nicely. So grab your mini bottle of wine and to keep this in place. So as I put it in there, it's going to wobble about, so we don't really want that. So I'm going to grab some glue dots. Now these ones are from Sticks too, I quite like these ones. So I'm just going to put the glue dots just around the bottom. You do have to press quite hard to get them off the backing. Use as many as you think you may need. go 
I've gone to town, I've used eight. Okay, so before we put this in, this is going to be our back, our back. So we want that right at the back there, so it's not as visible. And then we need to line up our label as we put this in, just to make sure that our bottle goes in straight as well. There we go. And press that down, and that should stop most of the wobble. So now we need to put the lid on the top. I'm probably going to add a little bit of glue just so that it doesn't have any uh, mishaps or anything like that with someone picking it up and it uh, slipping off and falling and smashing perhaps. So just to stop any accidents like that, I'm just going to add some more glue around there and then slide this on. There we go, so we're almost done there, so now we need to decorate the bottle. So I've got some mats here already cut out, so this is for the top section. This measures 2 and 1 eighth by 2 and 1 eighth. And these side pieces, these measure 2 by 2 and 1 eighth, and you need four of those. So let's get this um, top section put on first before I mix them up with all the other pieces. And then I have a final strip here, this is going to go around the bottom. Okay, so if you want, you can have that join at the front, and we're going to cover that with a bow, or and that's quite invisible at the back there where it is, so it's quite a good pattern match there. So I'm going to grab some twine now, grab another glue dot, and turn it on its back. No, we're not, we're going to turn it on its front. down a blue dot. It's just going to start our twine off, so we could wrap that around a few times. Another glue dot just to uh, keep that one in place. And I've done some die cutting already, so I've used the Card Making Magic um, Love and Marriage die set and stamp set. So I've used this here for the heart, and I've cut the banner out, and I've used Happy Anniversary as my stamp. So we're going to glue this one on first. Just adding some random bits of glue here, so it's got to stick to the uh, twine as well as the actual box. There we go. And there we 
we're going to stick the happy anniversary over the top. And then to finish off, I'm going to tie a quick bow. I'm going to add the glue right now, so it's there for when I'm done. So I tie a quick bow with the same twine. glue that on and then leave that to dry. Okay so I hope you enjoyed today's project and here it is a lovely mini bottle of wine in a gorgeous presentation box. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.